He sizes up his batter. Here's the windup, the pitch. He delivers. And then, almost anything can happen, from a long fly ball to an out at home plate. For nearly 150 years, Americans have been enjoying the game of baseball. Considered by most Americans to be the national pastime, baseball attracts millions of spectators every year in the United States, Japan, and other countries. Most of the Amazon River and its surrounding rainforest lie within Brazil, the world's largest tropical country. Since World War II, Brazil has changed its economic base from agriculture to industry. Still, nearly one-third of the labor force is employed in farming. The major crops are coffee, bananas, and sugarcane. But small farms produce a large variety of tropical fruits and vegetables. About two-thirds of the people live in cities and towns along the coast. In 1960, in a dual effort to draw people into the interior of the country and to relieve congestion in Rio de Janeiro, the capital of Brazil was moved to the newly created ultra-modern interior city of Brasilia. Brilliant culture, rich history, and incomparable beauty. These are the treasures of Italy, one of Europe's oldest nations. Rome, Italy's capital, was once the seat of the powerful Roman Empire. During the Middle Ages, Italy's Renaissance bloomed, leaving a remarkable cultural legacy that can still be seen today. The knee. Its motion is like that of a hinge. Other examples of hinge joints are the elbow, and the jaw. The motion of some joints, like the wrist, is mainly a gliding motion, in which one bone glides a short distance over another. Usually, several bones move together to produce the smoothly coordinated movements we take for granted, such as those of the hand. Japan. This country is a land of high-speed trains, modern buildings, massive industry, teeming highways, and commuter stress. Modern Japan, rivaling the most advanced economic powers of the West, seems a long way from the traditions of its past. Japan's phenomenal success in economic development since World War II is based in part upon its many highly trained scientists, engineers, and technicians. This economic success is considered by many to be a modern-day miracle. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills.
because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. Lift off on Apollo 11. Power cleared. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. On July 20th, 1969, United States astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first man to set foot on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. 